I'm going to call this bug in bug out projects number two and this is video just to give you an idea of what I've been up to the progress I've made on my projects and as you can see I have a workshop here now where in a previous video this was a long-term pantry space that was basically a couple shelves and now it is a very active and useful workshop Still things need to be done here, but it's very useful right now. It's serving its purpose, and it's getting the work that I need to do in my house done. I did get my workout room cleaned and straightened up, organized. Brought the total gym down here, along with the other gear. I've been working out every other day, if not every day, since Thanksgiving. And this is a very important part for me of my bug-in, bug-out projects to be ready for whatever. I am in the process of organizing a gear room, all my outdoor stuff for bugging out, etc. But I'm going to leave that in the dark for now. I painted the walls and ceiling in the hallway and did do a laminate flooring. I painted the walls in the living room, primed the ceiling, still have more to do in here. This room's in disarray because I'm currently tearing apart my kitchen. Got the paneling off the walls. I'm going to strip out all the cabinets and you hear the squeaky, squeaky floor. <laughs> Tore up the flooring down to the subfloor. Did get a new sliding glass door in there, but uh, that's going to change there. No more pink. And I did tear out my pantry, my active pantry. This is going to be different. I'm going to change this room too. Lots of work to do and I did finish the master bedroom. Today I screwed down the entire subfloor. You can hear I'm walking all around and no more squeaks. And I pulled the floor out of that room. You see I got the washer and dryer out. Lots to do. Still got a lot of nails to pull out of the drywall before I start prepping it. And here's to give you an idea of how many nails can be left behind after you pull the paneling down. This is what's left behind in the drywall. So, it's a, the whole job can be very overwhelming if you look at it as a whole job. But when you work on it piece by piece uh, and claim small victories, you know, the job becomes possible. And it's something you really have to hang on to is those small victories. So I'm not in any way a professional at this kind of work. I did work for a time in construction and a short time with a Finnish painter, Finnish carpenter. And I learned some things. I picked a lot of what I learned up from my, my dad and just paying attention to what other people are doing, investigating things. And I'm just putting this video out to try to encourage others to set goals for yourself. Step out of your comfort zone, try new things, and uh, see what you can do. Try to be a little more self-sufficient. Save yourself some money. And that, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, be prepared. So I hope uh, this inspires someone. And uh, perhaps I'll put out some tips on what I learned along the way. I send you my peace and wish you well.